Hello and welcome back to the Lewis Phillips Guitar Channel. It's been a few weeks since I've last uploaded a video, so today what I'm doing is the brand new single from Beartooth, which is Hell of It. Now it came out last week, so I'm a little bit behind. I haven't listened to it at all. I've been really looking forward to finding the time to sit down and listen to it. Hopefully it's going to be a really heavy, Beartooth raw sounding song called Hell of It. You'd probably hope it is. I realised that on the past two Beartooth videos that I've done, I said that I hadn't listened to their 2018-18 album. Turns out I had. I'd literally known all the songs in it. In fact, quite a lot of them I was like, oh, I thought this was in the previous albums. So I have done. I just didn't put two and two together, basically. Let's uh, jump straight in. Let's go. Welcome back, you can't resist. <laughs> Welcome back, you couldn't resist. Well, yeah, I guess you're right. Typical Beartooth, fast paced. They like to get up to a certain point and then just kind of drop it down. But it's never like a proper drop. It's just, it just changes the pace of the song a lot more. It's just another Beartooth song. Ooh. Oh, that's nice. This is what I mean. Let's slow it down and then... It's like the chorus is a completely different tempo to the verse and it still sounds harder. Backing tracks there as well, just emphasizing the song. So far, it's, it's heavy. God, this like music, audio, vid, audio music video. I'm glad I don't have like epilepsy because it's like proper tripping me out. It's definitely a theme of the whole album that's coming out. So it'll be interesting to see what the rest of the album's going to be like. I think that's like my favourite part of it, like the riff leading into the chorus. I just like how it just settles everything down again, but you know it's not going to be settled for long. It's going to go straight back into it. And like the screaming, like the shouting in this one is just so raw. It really works with the song. See, like even this, I mean, I presume there's going to be a breakdown coming in a minute. Most of the time, it slows the tempo down. Even though they've kind of quieted it down, I think they've panned the guitar to the left here. Not really a lot going on, but the drum beat is still quite fast. You know, instead of going like like that, it's more like I'm I'm, I'm expecting some big things coming in a minute. Ooh. I like that metal sound in the background. It, it kind of reminds me of like the duality from Slipknot with the different approach to a breakdown, but it's unique. I like it. As I said a minute ago, the, the, the metal noise in the background, it kind of gives like another chilling vibe to the song, adds like another layer to it. Just something that simple. And like the scream or like the ongoing roar in the background, 
that was really nice. It shows that, you know, <laughs> he can hold it for a lot longer than he kind of like does in the, in the rest of the song because it's very fast paced onto the next word as soon as possible. With that one, it kind of left it in and faded out. And then that was straight back into the chorus. That was a nice transition. That was quite naughty, that one. Jesus, that was uh, interesting. Definitely say it's better than The Past Is Dead, even though The Past Is Dead is its own song on its own, really. And Devastation, I would still say, is the best out of the three, but that is a close second. It's got all the elements of a better two song in it, to be honest with you. I think it can kind of like come across sometimes quite samey, but there were aspects of the song which differentiated it. So as I said, like the metal sounding at the back, at the end, they do a lot of backing vocals but the backing vocals there was just simple there wasn't too much of them it was just in the chorus just singing like you know the hell of it repetitive wise uh, chorus was a little bit repetitive i wouldn't say it's a bad thing it was very easy to listen to very nice flow it starts off quite fast paced and then it finds itself and then it just focuses on like the aggression behind it all i think the album is out what june 25th yeah june 25th getting closer to it i'm looking forward to it i can't believe i'm not actually subscribed to them that's crazy there we go nice and done i'll tell you what do a little cheeky bell glad we've got three songs down at the album and my hype for the album is still pretty high how many more are we going to get before then what we're going to be in may now they might release what two i think minimum one more they might do a second one i'm not too sure anyway thank you very much for watching please comment like subscribe that's it for today's video thank you very much for watching i'll see you next time see you later